Hello YouTube, this is Sam Gerrans from QuarterNight.com. Today is Tuesday the 4th of December 2018. Now, generally my channel is about the Qur'an and analysing the Qur'an on the basis of its contents, not uh, the religion known as, or religions known as, as Islam. But this video is not about that. As you'll see from the title, it's to do with uh, the British um, social services and their um, their habit of kidnapping children. And I know this sounds wild and, uh, and scary, and it is both those things. And if you haven't come across it, well, then you won't know about it. But those who do know about it, know about it only too well and find out about it only too late. But the reason why I'm making this video is not that we've had our child kidnapped or anything, but my wife is Russian and as people who know my channel will know we currently live in Russia. I have another video which is about the reasons why we went back to Russia which are largely to do with um, after a couple of years in the UK we weren't comfortable there and we felt um, concerned for our child and if you go online you'll find lots of reasons why that you should be concerned if you have a child in the United Kingdom. But the reason why I'm making this video is more specifically to, for those people who are, well, for British citizens who are married to Russians. Now, there are a very high preponderance of social services uh, kidnapping children of Russian parents, if one or both of the parents is Russian. And um, just in our own experience, this is in the last week, my wife told me that there's a woman that she knows here, we're, we're in Russia now living who she knows socially, uh, th their children go to the same class or s of something, not school, but some sort of, you know, um, kruzhok, you know, some sort of children's class thing. And uh, this woman, who is Russian, happened to mention that her niece lives in London, and my wife said, oh yes, how nice, etc., etc., left it there. This week, <laughs> the same woman has informed her that her niece has been has been kidnapped by the social services and bundled off to Australia. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is not to convince you that this is happening. If you if this has happened to you or somebody that you know, you you already know that it's happening. If you are, I'm really putting this out there for people who are British and married to a Russian because. Something I know about very well is the difference in the cultures. Now, in most cases, most cases, the that sort of marriage will be a Western man and a, a Russian woman. And in most cases, the Western man won't know any Russian. Not in all, but in the vast majority of cases, we'll just be able to get by with a few words or whatever. And typically, the woman has gone to live in the West. My own situation is very different. I speak fluent Russian. My degree was in Russian and I came originally to Russia to as a continuation of my studies and so I had an, a pre-existing interest in Russian language and culture and so on. So I, what I'm trying to say is I think I have a bit of an, a window into this that, that might be quite unusual and th those are the things that I, I really want to share. The first point of this is if you are a, a Western man married to a Russian and your wife is coming to you with some concerns about how things are being done in the West, listen to her because and, and, and check it out. I would advise looking up somebody called Brian Gerrish. I'll leave his name in the drop down below. Just do some searches on UK social services stealing children. It'll make horrific reading, but this is really happening. It's real. So if your wife has come to you with some concerns, um, you know, pay heed to them. This is this is it, it's almost like um, it's almost like one of those airlocks. Once this door opens for you, there's no way back. And that's we we personally, uh, I would use the word fled. We got out of Britain very quickly. I didn't even tell the the nursery where we were going and we we went originally to Georgia the not the country of Georgia not the state lived there for a year and then we reverted back to to Russia where we'd lived before not obviously things here are not perfect by any means but they are further down the the this sort of um the conveyor belt all going in the same direction of course but not as bad as it is in the UK not as bad now the the advice that I heard, and now this is going back a couple of years, is that Ireland, the Republic of Ireland, is less bad than the UK. 
in, in terms of kidnapping children and putting them into often placing them with paedophiles. I mean, you, you have to understand what's going on there. It, it is a horror story. And most people around you won't understand what it is. I also heard that Spain is not so bad as well. They are more reluctant to, to take the children. That may have changed. But what I really want to say is, is that if you are a, a Russian woman, probably married to a Western man, it, it may be quite hard for him to, to grasp what you're talking about. And I would suggest to you that the best way of communicating with him is going to be finding some very good accessible videos that he can see that this is happening. Uh, maybe you'd like to forward this one to him as well. The, the problem with this is that, uh, and I think this is something that is cross-cultural, uh, Western people are, well, let's, let me preface this by saying, in Russia, you don't find anybody who, who trusts the government. You don't have to break through the blood-brain barrier of the sort of Teletubby thing where everybody believes, like, like British people generally believe that the government is generally good. In Russia, we don't have, we're not, we're not hampered with this problem. If you, you know, the government murdered tens of millions of people in the last century. So it's, we, we, we know about government. So in England, it's going to be a harder conversation to have. And Part of the problem as well is the conditioning of the Russian who's come into the UK. Most Russians overestimate the honesty and decency of the British system. And you can't afford to overestimate it. You need to be realistic and you need to understand that it's it may not look Stalinist. It doesn't look Stalinist. It looks free and fair and cuddly and warm and fluffy, but it isn't. And it is really stealing children. So if you are in the UK as a Russian woman and you've been there X amount of time and, you know, you've been there long enough to understand how, to some extent, how things work. Just because people are polite most of the time, or quite a lot of people are polite quite a lot of the time, it's a mistake to think that they are like people who are polite in Russia. In Russia, when people are polite, it's like in, intelligent. This is just basic training in England and the the difference will be that the social services will, and the police and all of those people will smile at you while they take your children away. So that's that bit. Again, look this up. Don't wait. It, my next piece is really advice. If you're, if you have contact with the social services, if you have any reason to fear I would, my advice is don't fight them, run. Look up people online, you'll find, and look up in Russian, you'll find a lot of Russian women who've had their children stolen from the UK and also from Scandinavian countries. My advice would be is, is leave first, don't tell anybody, just go. Just get on a plane, get out. And, 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 and you know, sort it out afterwards. But understand that you're you're not safe there, and and you're not. The last point I want to make on this subject is that why I think they're targeting Russian children. They're not only kidnapping Russian children. Obviously, they're kidnapping all kinds of children. But why I think that there's this almost preference for Russian children, and the reason why I think that is is because Russians, and I'm I'm not a a, a Russophile. I've lived in Russia 15, 16, 17 years. I know enough, I'm realistic enough about about this country not to have any illusions about it, but I can ob say objectively that Russians are more manly than Westerners. Westerners have become neutered, they've become, they've become um, sanitized and they've had any concept of masculinity, of, of you know, owning your own fight, of sticking to your own guns no matter what. That's all been trained out everybody is very much um you know of a collectivistic almost socialistic mindset and that that sort of that fight which the british always did have has pretty much gone i mean it ha it's it gets expression in football matches and all these sort of masturbatory exercises but i'm talking about in terms of real life people they want to conform very much in russia you can't be like that as you will know you have to, you if you're going to survive, you have to basically pick up the ball and run and just take it on the chin and push your way through 
in order to get what you want. And that is what they don't want. They don't want people like that in the West. And the elite, the ruling elites, who, by whose orders all of this is happening, they're more afraid of the few individual leaders. That's what they're really scared of. And a Russian mother who is training her son, especially sons, but daughters as well, in a more of a Russian mindset where... I'll just as an example, this is I'm giving this to my Western friends who haven't been to Russia or lived in Russia. You know, if a Russian boy falls on the ground, uh, well, I'll compare in Spain, I saw a little boy fall on the ground and the father was, you know, oh dear, oh dear, and you know, trying to talk to him and all of this nonsense went on forever. It was it was it was uh, it was it was ridiculous. Uh, a Russian mother, when a child falls on the ground, she'll say, you know, you're a man get up that's and that's it and and i agree with that <laughs> and that's not there in the western culture and that's what they don't want if you look around you masculinity and manhood are almost almost illegal they're pushing this this girl power nonsense and what they're afraid of is a few good men and i think that that's why they're targeting Russian, the children of Russians, they don't want that influence. They're afraid of that influence. And then they take them off, put them in either some hot, you know, children's home or, or worse, where they are, where unspeakable things happen. And that's how they're neutering this. I'll, I'll give you a, a, another reason why I think the paedophilia thing is being pushed. I'll give you an example. In Georgia, where we lived, Georgia is a, a pretty manly sort of place. and But I talked to people and listened under Sakashvili, who was the American stooge there. In order to neutralise opposition, they rounded up these men, took them into prisons and gang raped them. There's something about the um, that invasion of manly space that breaks man and they know that that's why they're doing it why do you think they're doing what they're doing to the americans are doing what they're doing to people in places like guantanamo bay and abu ghaib it's not just about torture it's about humiliation it's about breaking the male spirit they know this and now they're doing it with the children and i believe personally that the reason why they're targeting the russian children the children of russians in the west is because they want to make sure they nip that in the bud they don't want any leaders Anyway, I do recommend that if you are concerned, you have reason for concern, the social services are sniffing around. I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't wait. Do your research and, you know, I, I wish you all the best, but cons do not assume that England is some country where there's the rule of law and everything is as it seems. Do listen to Brian Gerrish's presentations. Uh, there's a chap as well who, uh, with Pie and Mash films, I don't remember his name off the top of my head, but you will you'll get an, an, a view into the underbelly of all of this. And if it looks awful and horrific and terrible and unbelievable, it's because it is awful and horrific and terrible. But unfortunately, it's true. And God forbid that this should happen to your child. You wouldn't be able to live with yourself. But it, there's no way back. Also, check out people, what happens to you if they take your child. You've got no recourse. You go through it. These, they're called family courts. Listen to Brian Gerrish. He's an ex-military officer. He's an ex-naval officer. And his presentation, I think, is fairly reasonable. Uh, I would say even understated to, to a large extent on this. Uh, and then form your own decision. But I thought I would share that, especially um, since only this week, this woman who my wife knows has told her that her niece has been taken by social services. Her mother will never see her again. She's 10 years old. That's all for now. If you're listening on YouTube, you can download my full translation of the Quran free using the button in the top right hand corner or buy the hard copy there at 10% less than on Amazon. I also encourage you to sign up for the Quranite Plus newsletter on the site to get occasional micro updates. You can download the audio from my YouTube videos to your mobile device using the links in the drop down below. I recommend meetquranites.com to connect with other Quran alone believers. 
Like if you like, comment if you have something constructive to say and subscribe to get more each week. And use the link in the drop down below to donate if you would like to help me keep doing this. And remember, this life is short. Eternity is long. If you want good trees, plant good seeds.